everybody, and welcome again to Faith on Friday Extra. This series is all about highlighting people, topics, and businesses that I know you will find inspiring, engaging, and super interesting. And I'm your host, Ricky Smith. So today is going to be different in that how many of us talk about being out of our comfort zone? or don't want people in their comfort zone, or spend our whole life trying to get out of a comfort zone. Well, I'm gonna to talk to somebody today who is working on getting out of it, who's been in it for a while, and will have some interesting information for you. Her name is Kathy Sante. Everyone, hi, Kathy. Hi. <laughs> Kathy, thanks so much for joining me. I appreciate this, because this is an interesting topic very few people talk about. So. First Agreed, off, and thank you for taking me out of my comfort zone once again. <laughs> that is what I'm here for. Okay, full disclosure, y'all. So Kathy's a good friend of mine. So we've been through ups and downs, ins and out as a group. So I will let you know if she's not telling the truth. Okay. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so Kathy, let me, you just said that this is taking you out of your comfort zone. Tell me a little bit about your comfort zone. What does it look like there? Um very quiet and inconspicuous. I'm, I'm more comfortable in the background. I'm the support staff. You know, I'm making everything happen behind the scenes. That, that you do. total setup is me. Yeah. yeah. So you've never been one to be out in the front, um, on the stage. It, it hasn't been leading the pack type deal. You ain't got to look like that. No, no. Why do you Not think that is? All. I mean, have you been like that since you were growing up or is that something that happened as an adult? Um, you know, I, I think somewhat as a child, I was shy. And then um, I think if, if we really delve into the psychosis of it all, oh, let's go. being heavy kind of helped being mm -hmm. that way too. Mm -hmm. I think the extra weight um, is kind of a barrier mm -hmm. for me anyway. Right. Um, mm -hmm. So I hid myself, if you will from the world uh, as a protective mechanism, sure. perhaps, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, um, no, that's probably But I, I think that's part of it, right? I just like mm -hmm. to be in the background. I do, in, in my deepest heart of hearts, like to help yeah. people. Mm -hmm. um, I, I definitely get that, but I, I, I don't, for some reason, I don't want to be exposed, let's say. Oh, wow, that's, that's huge, not to be exposed. So did you create your own comfort zone or do you think that that comfort zone was created for you? Um, no, I, I think I, I created that, right? Mm -hmm. I think that the, the relationships that I have up until this point have been very strategic. Yeah. Um, and um, my circle is very small. I know a lot of people, but my circle is very mm -hmm. small. Yeah. On, on so purpose. it's, but it sounds like, though, because of that, you're kind of getting out, you know, I mean, because if you're in your comfort zone and you say, you know, a lot of people, but your circle's small, a lot of us get that. But how does that keep you in your comfort zone? Um, I think that once you are just around your uh, core people, if you will, they, they sometimes um, support the behavior out of wow. love, not understanding, you know, what, it, what, what you're really manifesting when you do these types of things. And then, sure. um, you know, I've been blessed with people like you who uh, know what I'm capable of if I would just get out of my way. And so you push me. Yeah, a lot. Yeah. So notice, I want y'all to know that she did just blame the small circle of people for allowing her to be this. Mm. Anyway, so Kathy, as you were growing up in this comfort zone, now you, you know, you've gone to college, you've moved, you know, across the country to where you are now. Was that part of being in the comfort zone or getting out of it as you were doing these things? Because those are, I, I those think, are big I moves. think, to be honest, Ricky, I think it was subconsciously to get out of it. Right. Wow. Um, mm -hmm. I think that a lot has changed for me in the 18 years. Oh, my God, I've been in El Paso for 18 years. In the 18 <laughs> years that I have been here. Right. I was in a toxic relationship. My life really wasn't um, what it should and could be. Right. And the, you know, circumstances just led itself for this. You know, something has got to give. I cannot continue in this manner. So right. Right. I was able to come out here and totally change my life. Yeah. for the better and i'm yeah. so happy to say you know i shed some pounds i finished school i did a lot of things 
yeah. that I, I wasn't doing at, at, you know, in my 30s. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, I know. Just a little while ago. So. Okay, so now you put it out there. You said in your 30s. So, Kathy, go ahead and tell us, how old are you now? I turned 51 last month. Woohoo! Yes, she did. Super excited. So, <laughs> at 51, are you still in your comfort zone or are you working your way out? What do you think? No, I am absolutely working my way out. I, I, um, I have a plan um, of where I'm going to be in the next five to 10 years. All and right. that's going to require me to do a lot. I'm trusting God to um, accelerate some of those things mm -hmm. um, and uh, to have me in a place where I will have the means to, mm -hmm. to do those things to help yeah. others that I, that I really, really want to do. And I know you're going to do it, but here's what I want to know, Kathy. So, I mean, I know what you do for a living and you are an, you work for an international company. You travel literally all over the world. I so do. how is that part of being in or out of your comfort zone? Because I'm, you know, listening to what you're saying, being in your comfort zone wouldn't have allowed you to do something like that. No, I, I, and, I, and I have to be so um, grateful for the opportunities that I've had in this life. Mm -hmm. I work for a company uh, that has uh, 15 facilities around the world. I work mm -hmm. out of the Juarez, Mexico facility. Mm -hmm. I am the only female and the only black person wow. in that facility. Mm -hmm. And I'm on the management staff. So I, um, you know, I make decisions, I, I do a lot of things, or I am exposed to a lot of things that, you know, m most people that look like me, you know, have not had mm -hmm. the opportunity, much less in a yeah. foreign country. Yeah. And so it has allowed me to see and do uh, things, give me an absolutely global perspective that I think mm -hmm. is lacking um, mm -hmm. a lot, um, especially in American culture. So um, we're, we're, you know, we're accustomed to just what's going on around here in the continental U.S., you know, but there's a whole world out there and mm -hmm. that we can affect for the better. Now, see, it, it's so funny because you said that, you know, you're working on getting out of your comfort zone, but listening to what you just said right now, you know, this global perspective, you know, this and that all over the country. Kathy, that doesn't sound like somebody in their <laughs> comfort zone. So to... Speaking to somebody who would be in a comfort zone, who's watching this, what would you tell that person? I'm in my comfort zone and I'm listening to you and you saying you that and it doesn't look like, it doesn't look like the same thing I'm going through. How do you explain that? Um, I think that we all have uh, an inner voice, if you will, mm -hmm. Ricky, that's telling us something. It's a feeling or however you want to explain it. I, I, right. I just do feel that all of us have a, uh, a yearning inside for something and that something right. is your purpose mm -hmm. and most times what keeps us from um, operating in that purpose is the fear the fear oh, wow. of the unknown the fear mm -hmm. of rejection or the fear of judgment because mm -hmm. for me specifically i can be judgmental mm -hmm. that's me hey. and so what prevents me from doing those things that are uncomfortable for me is being judged why because wow. I've been known to do that to others. Mm -hmm. And so that's been the barrier for me. So I don't yeah. know what it is for somebody else, but yeah. normally you know what you should do when it's time to, to do that thing. Sure. And there's a difference between the feeling of doom or, or fear versus being uncomfortable. Be, being uncomfortable is mm -hmm. what's going to take you out of your comfort zone. Wow. You want to be uncomfortable. You may mm -hmm. not want to be scared or, or uh, a feeling of, of gloom and doom. That's mm -hmm. a different type of, I think, um, discernment. But sure. just to be uncomfortable, you need to force yourself in uncomfortable situations wow. think, because that's when you can truly shine in yeah. whatever your yeah. purpose in this world how, is. How much have you grown in doing things outside of your comfort zone? Um, I would say significantly. And, and some of that has come through travel for work, right? So mm -hmm. I've, I've done, um, I've gone to Costa Rica and then I've stayed a couple of days and done sightseeing by myself. Like yeah. that's totally unheard of. This is somebody who won't even go to dinner by themselves. Forget about in a foreign country. Like mm -hmm. what are you talking about? So I've done that. I've done it in Europe. It's fabulous. It's absolutely yeah. fabulous and freeing. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. That's freeing. good. Freeing. See, I'm, I'm, you know me, I'm not that. I, <laughs> yeah, all I need is an opportunity and a passport and I'm gone <laughs> with or without anybody. That's right. But, That's but you right. know, but so many of us have a place that is our comfort zone. You know, your comfort zone may be different than mine. 
but that yeah. doesn't mean I don't have one. You right. know, so like you said, doing this interview right now for you is taking you out of your comfort zone. And is that because you know people are going to see you? Yes, people are going to see me, um, judge the way that I look, what, how yeah. I'm speaking, um, all kinds of things. Yeah. And at this well, point, people people. who cares? The, girl, 51, say that. You know, and, and, it is, and it is the truth because people are very judgmental, but they're judgmental based on everything and you said yeah. it versus the way you look the way you speak where you went to school where you live right it's going right. to be anything and i think at some point you either are going to succumb to that or you're going to overcome that yes. what is one of the the hardest things for you that you've done coming out of your comfort zone um i think just um, speaking to people, Ricky, mm -hmm. I, I'm, I've been forcing myself to say hello. And, and part of it's probably being in Texas so long. I mean, mm -hmm. those of you who may be watching from the East coast, you know, everybody minds their business. You know, yeah. you got that television, you're walking down the street, you're doing whatever you're doing. You're totally not paying attention to what's going on around you. Yeah. And so mm -hmm. I think being here kind of opened me up to say, hi, good morning, how are you? You know, right. and I can't believe that I do it. Most of the, you know, if wow. somebody speaks to me, obviously I would, I would speak back, sure. but to initiate the conversation is definitely right. not me, but I'm, I'm forcing myself to do that. And, and, you know, there's other things that I've had to do. I've had to speak in, um, on calls similar to with this, with, you mm -hmm. know, executive leadership. Yeah. And so, um, that has exposed me to to certain things and then mm -hmm. you know the feedback that i've gotten has been pretty positive or i have people in my corner who are open and frank with me who will give me you know constructive criticism right, and, right. and i don't take it personal you know what i mean mm -hmm. i use that to, to be better the next time yeah so um I, I, those are some of the things that i've been doing to kind of yeah. take myself out yeah I, I just think that is comfortable just living the every day because yeah like, you know because you don't think about it yeah, that that's crazy. So like Kathy, okay, now here's your chance. Give me three things for someone watching this who is scared to get out of their comfort zone. Three things. What would you tell them to help them take those steps to come forward? One, do something that scares you. Mm. Yeah. Um, it could be kill an insect, right? It could be, right? uh, I mean, very simple things. I'm not talking about anything extravagant. Yeah. Um, it could be go outside with no makeup on. It could be, hey, you know, just mm -hmm. something simple, something that terrifies you, do it. Wow. Mm -hmm. Do it. That's good. Um, something else that you, uh, that I would say to take you out of your comfort zone is um, get knowledgeable about something become oh, a good. subject matter expert on something there's something in your life that really intrigues you that you're interested in mm -hmm. research it mm -hmm. be an sme so yeah. subject matter expert on that one thing that's and good. then that way in any time or moment you can be in a situation and you can have the answer that somebody's looking for that's so true wow. and it wouldn't and it wouldn't be and it wouldn't be uncomfortable for you because you're, you know what I mean? This is something that you're, mm -hmm. you will be well versed in yeah. and very comfortable speaking on, and it can give you an opportunity to do something different. Yeah, that's good. Um, and the third thing is, what is it that you do every day that adds zero value? Wow. Oh my gosh. Wait, say that one more time, because that's worth repeating. What is it in your life that you do every day that brings zero value added? Oh my God. Take, stop doing it. Wow. I, I'm thinking right now, you know, I, we all have something like that. Yes. Kathy, that is yes. incredibly profound and something, I, you know, very few people think of. What are you doing every day that adds zero value? Eliminate it. Hmm. Okay, look, you guys, this conversation could go on forever because there's so much I want to know and so much I want her to tell me. But don't worry, we're going to have all of we'll Kathy's have to do another one. Yeah, there, 
Y'all heard it here first. She said she'll do another one. All of her information is going to be down in the description, so you will be able to contact her and ask her some questions of yourself. But don't forget, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Give us a thumbs up, and don't forget to leave us a comment because we totally want to hear from you. But Kathy, before you go, my friend, you know we have to play our game. That's exactly right. This game is super easy. Again, more out of your comfort zone. The okay. game is called This or That. It's super simple. I'm going to give you the okay. choice of two things, and you, off the okay. top of your head, just tell me which one you like the best. You ready okay. to play? Yes. All right, here we go. Android or iPhone? Android. That's my girl. Read the book or see the movie? See the movie. That's it. Wallflower. The literary people, I've already gotten the thumbs down. Go ahead. <laughs> That's okay. They'll, they'll have to read the transcripts on this anyway, so don't worry. Mm -hmm. Wallflower or Life of the Party? So that's a very interesting, um, that's a very interesting question. So I have been, I have been told that I'm the life of the party, but I, I, I prefer to be the wallflower because I'm an observer. So I like mm -hmm. to be in the cut watching what's going on. I will emerge at some point, mm -hmm. but my my comfort zone ooh, yeah. uh -huh. would be uh, would be the wallflower. Mm -hmm. Those of you all who have are friends of Kathy's on Facebook, y'all already know that ain't necessarily true. All right, eat to live or live to eat, my friend. Um, I should eat to live, but this girl right here, <laughs> live to eat. <laughs> and this girl right here can also cook. I'm just letting y'all know. <laughs> out in nature or in the house? Um, it's not in the house, but it's it's definitely not necessarily in nature. I'm a city girl, so. <laughs> oh my lord. <laughs> Coke or so Pepsi? I like to be Kathy. out and about, not necessarily yeah. in nature. But yeah, not way. walking in the woods, but outside. Right. <laughs> okay. Coke or Pepsi? Coke. Mm. Drive the car or ride in the car? I like to ride. Mm -hmm. I'm not I do all the driving because I'm single, but I would That's like true. to ride. Yes. Okay. I'm sorry. Say that one more time. You like to drive because what like now? I like to ride. Because. I'd like to ride. Uh huh. I'm single. Yes. Thank I'm you. Single. Say that, girl. I'm just trying to get it yes. out there, y'all. Okay. Uh, <laughs> next one. I like sports or I don't care. Oh, say that again. I like sports or I don't care. I like sports. Yeah, you do. And finally, Kathy, what was your first job? My first job was a in retail in Lane Bryant in the Woodbridge Mall wow. in New Jersey. Mm -hmm. Okay. I remember Lane Bryant. All right. Kathy, thank you so much for joining us. This has been really fun. And it thank really you for has. getting out of your comfort zone to do yes. this with us. Thank you for inviting me to it. do so. Hey, you know what? Any and every time. All right, y'all. That's it for this time, but that's okay because we'll see you next time on Extra.